multimillionaire and one of the world's richest men. His body, which was being held at Snow's funeral establishment on Argyle Street, would be taken home for burial, as would the remains of 59 of his fellow passengers. Resting at the makeshift Mayflower Morgue on Agrilica Street was band leader Wallace Hartley. Recently engaged and working for the Cunard Line, he couldn't resist the opportunity to play aboard the Titanic, the great ship with so many wealthy and well-connected passengers on board. He was sure to bring him some notoriety, perhaps, and new possibilities in future. When the crew of the Mackay Bennett spotted him in the ocean, his music case was still strapped to his frostbitten body, already heralded by survivors for maintaining his composure and continuing to play while the Titanic foundered. He was returned to Colne, England, where 40,000 attended his funeral. The bodies of two of his equally noble bandmates Remain with us today.